What's up? I've just bought an FPV drone, and it's just arrived. But before I get into that, I just want to know that I've put the video into chapters, so if you want, you can just skip through to the interesting bits. Let's do this. Now, if you don't know what an FPV drone is, let me break it down for you. FPV stands for first person view. So when you fly the drone, you're, it's like you're in first person looking out through the drone's eyes. FPV drones are special. Unlike regular drones, where when you turn, they can only go so far before they stop yourself to keep in so you don't just do flips like this. FPV drones don't have that. FPV drones instead have no restrictions so you can keep doing flips all you want. This is especially useful for ac acrobatics and any maneuvers or tricks that you want to do. So without further ado, let's get to the build. Oh wait, I uh, kind of forgot to mention that you need to build the drones yourself so they don't just get sold by one specific manufacturer. Yeah. To build one of these drones, firstly, you need a frame. For this build, I chose the Source One. The Source One is a completely open source and hundreds of people have worked on the design. The pack comes with four arms, one top plate, two bottom plates, a chuck, and a camera holder. Next are the motors. These are just standard 1800 kV motors. You'll also need a flight computer and a speed controller, a radio antenna, a video transmitter and its antenna, a camera, some accents for color, and most importantly, a battery or two or seven. And you may be wondering, why so many batteries? Well, these batteries can deliver up to 130 amps each, and when you full throttle these motors, they pull a lot of energy. So you will not be flying for very long unless you have many batteries. The assembly isn't too complicated at first. The next step is to take all of these components and put them on the drone just to see if they fit. That's the drone. I'm just gonna now actually put it together. Okay, that's the easy part done, pretty much. Now, the next part is wiring everything together and making sure it doesn't explode. I probably won't record much for this because it's just easier to not, so um, I'll cut back, I'll cut to when I've wired everything. Um, it's been a couple hours. I changed my mind, I'm not gonna skip forward to when I've done the wiring, um, I'm just gonna show you this quickly. So, so far, this is where I'm at. I've wired these big cables onto the ESC, the speed controller, and I've done three out of the four motors and um, all connected up. Um, the reason it's been so long since um, the last cut is because I was using, using this little soldering iron, but this is 10 watts and that wasn't able to heat up these um, big pads that well. So I uh, had to go into town real quick and um, get myself a new soldering iron that is more capable uh, and that worked perfectly fine. So. Um, yeah, that's, that's where I'm up to so far. Next is to finish off this motor, get these three wires hooked up. After that, I will be putting on the flight computer, doing all the cables for that, and then um, programming. Yep. And there we go. There's all four motors wired up to the ESC. This thing is feeling durable and weighty. I like it. That's all wired up. I am going to cut until after the flight computer is done because that will actually take a while and it's tedious and very small stuff, not really great to show on camera. But uh, yeah, once that's done, I'll see you there. Alright, so I just finished the wiring, got the camera on, I am connected up to the smoke stopper with the battery, I'm going to press this button to give it power. Um, so I put a buzzer in, that wasn't in the build manual but um, I got suggested to do it so now there's a buzzer in there. The radio antenna is hooked up, the visual antenna is hooked up, cameras are up, flight controller, everything is wired together. So now I just press this button and we should hear it all work. There we go, so it all works. And there's no short circuits or anything, so that's really, I'm really proud of that. Um, so time to just pretty much close the top of it up and we'll be good to test the video out and if that works then I can test the program it, test the motors and tomorrow in the morning, because right now it's like nearly midnight, um, we will see it fly. It's now another two hours after the last clip 
and um, I've hit the next roadblock. So if you look closely on here, notice how the screw there is connected to this um, post, like one of these posts here. These posts are called standoffs, and um, they are just metal cylinders that have screws in either end of them. Oh, so it's like threads. So, but I'm trying to loosen this screw over here, right? But when I loosen it, it spins the thing. And now I've also stripped the head of that screw. So, I can't loosen that screw, so which means I can't put the GoPro mount on top of here. So, I think the only thing I can do right now is to cut a slot into the top of the screw and then use a flathead screwdriver and some vice grips to hold down the um, standoff. Um, but until tomorrow when I can do that, I'm just going to continue on with the programming and setting everything else up. Okay, so other than that mishap with the screw, the battery grip is now on, every cover is in, every wire is connected. It is complete, the build, and it looks absolutely incredible. I am pretty proud of myself for that. You got the little camera in the front, antennas on the back, another antenna on the arm, power, everything. Pretty happy with that. Time to spend the next uh, two hours programming this thing. <laughs> so I'm setting up the configuration for it now, and it's asking for a, a craft name and a pilot name. So. In the craft name, I'm putting struggle, because it was a struggle to build. And in the pilot's name, I'm putting Morgan, which is my name, as you probably will know, because it's been in videos somewhere. But, uh, yeah. Here is struggle. Okay, it's come to the point to spin up the motors for the first time, and I'm really nervous, but hopefully it goes well. So, this motor should spin up when I go like this. Ooh, it's starting to move. There we go. And it should be going uh, an anti clockwise. Yup, it definitely is. It's it pulled that way. Do all of them. How cool is that? Okay, it's nearly two in the morning now, and it's all programmed, it's all built, everything's ready to go. So the very last thing I need to test is the video transmitter, and if that works, then everything's done and I can fly this in the morning. So, first step is to turn on the radio. Uh, it takes a second. There we go. Radio is online. Let's get the drone, plug in the battery. There you go, it's connected to the radio now. So I've hooked up a few things. If I push this button, it'll beep. So if it would crash and I can't see it, I can press this and beep it. So it beeps. This one here will arm the Moses and they will just be spinning an idle pretty much. So now it's spinning and I can go. So that's working. So very last thing is to power up the video transmitter and hopefully this is going to work on camera. It shows nothing. Oh, it's almost showing something though. But I will take off the lens cap of the camera and then press scan. And there, oh, we almost had something there. It's trying to find it. Oh, there we go. There's me. Hello. Hello, world. The drone can see me. That is awesome, isn't it? That is so cool. I, you can even see. You, I, didn't, I didn't know if that broke it. 
You can see yourself almost. Where's the camera? You can't see it. It's in the shadow. Oh well. It works. The screen works. So I can now actually fly this and it will... I can look through it. It's complete! This took me... I was expecting this to take me like three hours. It's two in the morning and I started at 12.30 in the afternoon. Uh, so, yep. This took me uh, over 12 hours. It, it took me closer to 14 hours to get this. That is just phenomenal. Great. Alright, so I'm gonna do something pretty stupid. I was told to not fly it indoors, or like at least do a hover test indoors, because, you know, it's literally a s four different, like, sewer, like, s like, when you call them the wind turbines, <laughs> um, the propellers, yeah, you can tell it's late, um, but, and they will chop your fingers off, they don't care about trying to preserve your, um, health. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna do it inside, because it's my drone, I can take the risks that risks that I want. And um, we'll see if it flies. So I'm gonna put, set my camera down there. The drone is sitting there. I'll put it into, it's an angle mode, so it's not gonna just fly crazily around. Arming and lifting up. Would you look at that? It flies! Like, that's so cool! What? I just built this in the span of like 12 hours, no, 14 hours. <laughs> and it flies! I built something that flies. Like, for, for you this probably doesn't make much connection because like, oh it's just a random guy that you see that's built a f weird spinning thing. But, I like, I feel like I was a part of this. Like. I did something. <laughs> and to see it actually be able to lift off and keep itself there, you know, like... That's just phenomenal. <laughs> anyway, um... So, yep, that's... The drone. In the morning, I will be taking this out for a first freestyle flight. That will be exciting. <laughs> so, uh, yep, it's the morning now. I've pretty much just... Uh, woken up and immediately got the drone and ready to fly. Joined here by my dad, who's going to be a spectator for the flight. <laughs> and I've got the DVR recording, so like, we'll be able to um, see the um, the flight afterwards from the camera. I'm just going to do a quick hover around the garden. So there you have it, there's my FPV drone that I built in, the, in overnight and flew in the morning. Uh, I would like to thank KiwiQuads for just making this so easy to buy such a drone. They are New Zealand based like I am and shipping was real quick and they're just, you can actually talk to the people who are packaging everything and stuff, they have a Discord server, so just go and join that too. Uh, in the description will be a link to this specific drone as well as all of the other uh, parts that I have used for this drone. If you are to buy it though, please read the description properly because otherwise it's just not going to work out for you. Uh, yeah, and I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see uh, more videos about this drone, just let me know and I'll probably be uploading shorts anyway of the drone. Leave a comment, that's what makes the algorithm like me, and um, a like as well. And if you're feeling generous, subscribing also really helps me out. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.